Bald Rhino here. We're going to do a sweet PSA reveal. Vintage, modern, little basketball, mostly baseball. You're going to enjoy it. It's going to bring back memories. A couple things with PSA, tougher, tough, tough, tough. I rushed a few cards to get them in front of PSA. This was when the clock was ticking, doors were closing. Um, can't submit great variation in this order. Hope you enjoy it. And yes, you'll see some tens and you'll see some traditional bald rhino disasters. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right, YouTubers, let's look at these beautiful cards from PSA. We're going to start with one of the real wins, which was a Bernie Williams rookie card score, 1990 PSA 10. Obviously, you're never going to submit this card with the new pricing, but had to start it with a victory. Love that 10. Then we have uh, David Ortiz. Uh, how's the glare looking there, uh, team? Okay, 2016 Tops Update, David Ortiz. Uh, this man was released and then all of a sudden became one of the best players ever. So um, wondering how that happened. Hmm. Hmm. I think I know, but I won't say it out loud, so I don't want to upset Ortiz fans, but it is very suspicious. All right, let's get to a uh, basketball card. I very rarely show basketball cards, uh, but I wanted to submit one of my victory Michael Jordan cards that I really believed would be a 10, and it became a 10. It was a 10, so uh, that was pretty lucky. Um, probably not going to submit these moving forward, huh? I don't know. Um, like I said in the intro, very hard um, grader, I think. Um, just going to say that out loud. Um, but I had one order that came in recently. I'll do videos of here shortly that cards were fantastic. But um, I will tell you that uh, tough grader. PSA 9 for the Bagwell traded rookie. This one was a huge disappointment. And for those of you that... Um, collect vintage cards look at the centering on that Fisk rookie that is off the chain good but uh, it only got a five and I can't really tell you I think that this particular grader was very focused on the surface of the card uh, which I am very weak on and so anyway but it, just a gorgeous card only paid twenty three dollars for this raw but god I don't know there you go um, as you all know, I love Bo Jackson because he was the antithesis of me. I thought I was a great athlete. He actually was. <laughs> so there's the 89 tops Bo Jackson and a 9. Uh, yeah, there's a 9 theme in this order, but there's some good ones. There's some good cards. Um, here is a pack pull Conseco Rookies. 8. It's a nice looking card, but I can't tell you what's wrong with it. There you go. This one uh, kind of broke my heart a little bit. This is the 81 Fleer. Anybody that's familiar with this set knows how hard it is to get it centered. That is a centered beauty. But it's an 8, so I don't know why I couldn't tell you. But I'll take the 8, I guess. I love the Elite Coast 3's uh, interview on Bench Clear. Um, he has a really good attitude about grading. That's the new way to look at things. Here's the Bo Jackson, one of his last cards. It's always sad to see him in the White Sox Uni, but PSA 10, 93 upper deck. This was a huge win here. You know, I collect the 72 cards, and uh, this one is just a gorgeous card. I really expected it to be a 7, but it's one of the coolest kind of action scenes of McCovey. Um, so, PSA 8, beauty card there. Um, 72 tops, Chris Fire in action. Yeah, I don't know. I looked at it again. I think it's at least a 7, but tough grader. Cool card. I have the uh, the whole in action series in, in uh, PSA, so there you go. I told you there'd be great assortment in this wonderful video. Appreciate everybody watching. Here is Tito Fuentes. Bought this raw on eBay. Nice eight. And you know, these are fun because uh, you know, if you spend, there's a banger in here where 
you spend a couple bucks and you get a eight or better I mean man it's nice just nice you know uh, that was another win for this order or orders in general is that they were all graded this is Bob Robertson in action PSA 8 here's the uh, kind of a disappointment but when I looked at the card I, I can see why it's a 7 I still made money on it because I bought it for under I think $87 raw but um, I bought it a G uh, Greg Morris cards who I really like I think uh, unfortunately his prices are so high now they kind of reflect a thought of the grade but anyway I don't want how's that look okay all right here is a Blake Snell rookie this is his variation rookie they would give me a 10 on that you know but kind of a nice one this one is a banger this one's a huge card really low pop uh, King Griffey Jr. Panini Pinnacle, <laughs> excuse me, Essence of the Game, PSA 10, very low pop card. That one's going to go for some bucks there, I would think. This one's PC card, really thought it might get a 10, but they're not going to give an 84 tops 10, are they? Tune in, maybe they will on a card here in a little bit. But yeah, PSA 9, gorgeous card, great centering, beauty, just beauty. Not sure why I've graded this. I mean, he's got an outside shot, but this is Jose Abreu, PSA 9 on his Donner's rated rookie. Um, so very, very, very likely that he will get, this gentleman will get in the Hall of Fame. Uh, this is a card to try to get in a 10 because there's only 20 of them. I mean, you get a nine or you, oh, you get, it's just a very tough 10. So may want to give some thought to that. This one was beautiful. Is that you know I'm kind of secretly doing a little Joey Votto uh, as well since he's a lock as a Hall of Famer now. And um, look at that PSA 10 of the 2011 Diamond. Oh, pretty, huh? All right. See so, you now here's a perfect example of a raw victory. This is a two dollar card bought raw. Comes back a PSA nine. Is a 72 card so this is a card that's 50 plus 50 years old now and uh, you get a nine that's sweet here is a beautiful 72 tops of Willie Mays this was a big win I bought it for $50 on eBay um, was not Greg Moore's cards I can't remember where it was but nice seven this card sure have gone up quite a bit. This was a childhood card, Ozzy Smith's second year. I'm really bummed out. It wasn't, I don't understand why it's a seven. It's very centered well. But again, I think uh, very, very strict on the surface. This is a pack pulled by me, uh, George Brett and Buckner. I thought it had an outside chance, so that's why I've submitted it. Obviously these cards are not gonna be submitted anymore, but I'm glad I did. Here is uh, Derek Jeter. And this one might be overgraded a tad, as Elite Co mentioned. Sometimes you got to take the good with the bad. And so PSA 9 on the Derek Jeter rookie. Uh, Elite Co talks several times about cards that are turned off for 10s. This is one of them. And um, don't submit them because you're going to get a 9 or worse. Just go buy a Barry Larkin 10 for 45 bucks. Here, this one. Uh, uh, was kind of nice uh, to get an 8. I, I don't have this card in a higher grade. Um, so, Bo Jackson Donner's rookie. This one was kind of nice. I thought it had an outside chance at a 10. It's centering is perfect, uh, but maybe they're finished. This is the Bo Jackson rookie that is worth some dough. PSA 9. Here's another Bo. The greatest athlete to ever live. It's not even close. I mean, um, that's one of the neat things. He's the greatest athlete of all time. PSA 9. I either attribute this disaster to, um, as a PSA 6, to bad eyes, um, anchored greater, or both. But there's no ding corner or something going on there, so I don't know. 
that one hurt. That's just burning money. But I'm sure there's a lady out there that wants to buy that card. Uh, here is Trevor's story. Uh, really trying to focus on him a little bit. I think he does have a shot to go to a bigger, better team. And he's actually quite a talented dude. <laughs> Excuse me. He's <coughs> quite a talented dude. This is his uh, variation, PSA 9. And then the dreaded half grade came in on my other one, uh, PSA 8.5. Oh! All right, just a few more beauties to enjoy on the Bald Rhino Station. This is the Wade Boggs Gem Mint 10 Gold 1994. It was nice to win that. It's a cool card too, to have. All right, here was one of the big victories of the order. This was a dollar ninety-five on eBay. Came back at Jim and Ten, the Allen Trammell eighty-two tops. That is nice. Gonna make somebody happy. And uh, moving forward, right along. This was great. This is a pack pulled Daryl Strawber eighty-four rookie card PSA six. So. This is a perfect example of sometimes you can, yes, pull a, a pack pull card and get a six. But then thankfully I pulled another one and got an eight. And I can't tell the difference between the two cards. Um, here is another, and this was obviously box pulled. They were boxes, not packs, but box pulled six of the Bo Jackson rookie. Just Three more here. Uh, wanted to throw one in. Uh, a gem mint ten of the quitter. Um, hope he does something this year. What a what a piece of work he is. That's all I'll say. And then uh, we got a beautiful PSA seven of the seventy three Carl Yastrzemski. Look at that beautiful centering, which is really tough on the seventy three, as the, all of us collectors know. And then lastly, uh, just give me one spit in the face. I collect bench, as everybody knows, and they gave me the dreaded half grade on a beautiful, perfectly centered card that I bought for $3. So, thanks so much for tuning in. It's going to be a great new year. We're going to get through this together. Appreciate you watching the Bald Rhino Station. Take care.